Okay, so let's uh, let's talk about this um, Selectric. Uh, let's start on the bottom. There's an asset tag. It's upside down, but it's June 18th, 1982, and it's uh, it says Memories Inc. And it looks like an auction tag. All right, Dan, if you could, my my um, my colleague here is helping demonstrate the typewriter. So. It's an IBM, it's an IBM Selectric 2 correcting. Uh, there's a little bit of white out in it. The top opens up pretty nicely, without too much difficulty. And overall, cosmetically, I don't see any scratches on the case, but you know we're not guaranteeing that it's mint. Of course, it's it's an oldie but goldie. So there's still a cassette in it, and uh, there's no ball, however. So we weren't able to actually get in and test the machine, and we don't know if it r runs or not, if it works or not. But uh, Dan, go ahead and put it on the table. Let's look at the uh, back of it now. All right, there's another asset tag on the back, and this says, "It is this is your receipt, and it says March 5th, 1983. LAPD auction 335. I guess that's uh, uh, police impound. And Danny's going to plug it in. And we'll have a look at what it does when you plug it in. But Dan, I don't think we have to turn it around. Let's just turn it on. Okay. You can just turn it on. It's fine. You don't have to turn it around. Okay, so is it plugged in? Okay, it took a second. But after a second, it started making some noise. None of the keys do anything, but I, I'm assuming that's because there's no ball in there. We do hear a motor, but it's not really, the fan doesn't really power up too good. So let's do it again. You can hear the noise it's making. And that's about it. We're going to sell it as is. We're going to take a few pictures of it as well, and we'll post this on YouTube. Uh, thanks for your consideration. All proceeds from this auction benefit Dreams to Reality Foundation. 100% of the money that we receive from this auction will benefit youth programs and scholarships. Thank you.